was seeing the left kidney in longitudinal section and uh, in it you are seeing a cystic area, black, rounded, it remains cystic in transfer section as well as in longitudinal section, does not change its shape. First thing, second, it's internally clear. This is the cyst, it is internally clear. And you do see, uh, we do not see uh, dense, uh, <coughs> highly echogenic posterior wall enhancement because there is fat behind it, this posterior wall, which is that of the central sinus echo complex. So this is central sinus echo complex, and that is the reason we don't get uh, procedural enhancement as we get in uh, simple cyst. Now you see that this cyst is not in the cortical region, rather it is in the medullary region. So, and this is this is the uh, cortex. Uh, this is in fact, and then the, uh, this is the posterior cortex. This is the central sinus echo complex. And the cyst is in the medulla. Such cysts are called medullary cysts. This uh, may is 23.2 into 23.2 uh, millimeters. The internally clear, no calcification, nothing within it. Kidney is otherwise normal. And uh, just note that uh, the cyst moves with the kidney. Thus, it's uh, a renal cyst. You can see it's moving with the kidney is internally cleared <coughs> with central sinus echo complex in behind its posterior wall. It's in the medullary region. Most often we do, we see the cortical cyst. This is in the medullary region. So this is the medullary, simple medullary cyst of no significance, just an incidental finding. Thank you. Okay, this is the left kidney of another patient in which this is the longitudinal section and uh, you can see that uh, there is a cystic area at its uh, lower pole. This is the upper pole, this is the lower pole, this is the cystic, cystral measuring 33 by 46 millimeters is uh, at the lower pole with the normal kidney otherwise. These are the central sinus echo complex, the medulla, pyramids, the cortex. Now such a cyst which is involving almost all of the lower pole along with the parenchyma is called a renal cyst. This is a renal cyst at the lower pole of the right and left kidney. Um, then you see it will not change its shape when I give a full sweep to the probe. So this is a this is a simple renal cyst of the left kidney at the upper pole, internally clear. So this is, this I will label as a simple renal cyst. Thank you. Okay, now this is the another patient. Uh, again with the cyst in the left kidney, we are seeing the left kidney. Yes, this is the supreme. This is the left diaphragm, part of the left diaphragm, supreme. This is the upper pole of the left kidney. This is the mid region. And uh, here we see this is the lower pole of the left kidney. Now, it also contains a cystic area. This is the cyst, this one, this black area. And uh, the cyst is in the anterior mid region. You see that uh, this cyst measures 
21.7 into 21.7 millimeters is in the mid region and this is the cyst which is in the cortical region uh, from the cortex uh, it goes to up to the central sinus echo complex but it does involve the cortex of the kidney so this is the cyst that you can call as a parenchymal cyst or more appropriate will be to call it, name it as a cortical cyst, simple, no septum of calcification, no debris in it. You would often see these simple cysts, no posterior wall acoustic harm enhancement is because of the fat behind the posterior wall that of the central sinus echo complex. This is the central sinus echo complex. So, and now this is a simple cortical cyst at the mid region of the left kidney. Now this is the differentiation between the medullary cyst you saw earlier and uh, the simple cyst. It does not change its shape when I move the probe 90 degrees. So, this was to make a differentiation between a medullary and cortical cyst. Thank you. I was seeing the left kidney in longitudinal section and uh, in it you are seeing a cystic area, black, rounded, it remains cystic in transfer section as well as in from it to the intersection does not change its shape. Here you see. First thing, second, it's internally clear. This is the cyst, it is internally clear. And you do see, uh, we do not see uh, tense or <coughs> highly echogenic posterior wall enhancement because there is fat behind it, this posterior wall, which is that of the central sinus echo complex. So this is central sinus echo complex, and that is the reason we don't get uh, posterior wall enhancement as we get in uh, simple cysts. Now you see that this cyst is not in the cortical region, rather it is in the medullary region. So, and this is this is the uh, cortex. Uh, this is in fact. And then the, uh, this is the posterior cortex. This is the central sinus echo complex. And the cyst is in the medulla. Such cysts are called medullary cysts. This uh, measures 23.2 into 23.2 uh, millimeters. The internally clear, no calcification, nothing within it. Kidney is otherwise normal. And uh, just note that uh, this cyst moves with the kidney, thus it's uh, a renal cyst, you can see it's moving with the kidney, it's internally cleared, <coughs> with central sinus echo complex in behind its posterior wall, it's in the medullary region, most often we do, we see the cortical cyst, this is in the medullary region, so this is the medullary, simple medullary cyst of no significance, just an incidental finding. Thank you. But normal procedure will remain the same. The only thing will be that uh, this principle, following this principle, you may have a time to go a little posteriorly, little upwards. Uh, but in this case, uh, we can we are getting it very easily from the intercostal space. That's intercostal space just above the uh, sub left subcostal region. And this is the transverse. Magnify, I'm going to magnify. This is the transverse view. Okay. And in transverse view, again, move the probe capital Y and coordinate so that we are not missing anything. Okay. We can also see the pro uh, kidney uh, with the patient in a supine posture uh, with the uh, with uh, 
Now this being the lower part of the left subcostal region, I enter the tenth intercostal space. I enter the tenth intercostal space. This is the lower edge. This is tenth intercostal space. Move upwards, and I get the kidney, longitudinal section of the kidney. At time, this is a little difficult view to get in some patients and if it is if it is so then you can use left plate, right lateral decubitus posture or prone posture uh, to visualize the kidney again we will go 90 degree angle probe angle the probe 90 degree to get the transfer section from in this region so sub left subpostal region, lower head into the subpostal region. Now, if you want to get the uh, proximal ureter, when you are getting the kidney longitudinal section in total, just angle the probe in this direction, this way. Angle the probe and you will get the proximal ureter as well. So now let's see with the, the kidney in uh, patient, so patient in supine posture, lower end, end of this left subcostal region into the uh, intercostal space and little angling to get the both total of the left kidney in longitudinal view. This is what I am. At times, you may have to ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it, as this gentleman has done it. This gives you this gives you a more clear uh, view of the kidney from where you can hear it. So, within normal limits, this is the source muscle, left source muscle. And this is the kidney, left kidney. In total, in longitudinal section, get a sample. Now I am I move the probe 90 degrees, and here you see this is the left renal vein entering the hilum of the kidney, with this being the transfers of the left kidney. Then again, you move the probe quarterly, here quarterly, and then in a capillite posture to see if you are not missing anything. So with the practice, it becomes easy. To depict at least normal. Of each organ. Now this is uh, the, how we scan the left kidney with patient in supine posture. So we have seen all the uh, positions to scan the kidney, and this is the way to scan the uh, kidneys by ultrasound. Thank you. Okay, this is the left kidney of another patient in which this is the longitudinal section and uh, you can see that uh, there is a cystic area at its uh, lower pole this is the upper pole this is the lower pole this is the cystic cistral measuring 33 by 46 millimeters is uh, at the lower pole with the normal kidney otherwise. These are the central sinus eco complex, the medulla, the pyramids, the cortex. Now such a cyst which is involving almost all of the lower pole along with the parenchyma is called a renal cyst. This is a renal cyst at the lower pole of the right and left kidney. Um, 
Then you see it will not change its shape. Then I give a full sweep to the proof. So this is a this is a simple renal cyst of the left kidney at the upper pole internally clear. So this is this I will label as a simple renal cyst. Thank you. Okay, now this is the another patient uh, again with the cyst in the left kidney. We are seeing the left kidney. Yes, this is the supreme. This is the left diaphragm. Part of the left diaphragm supreme. This is the upper pole of the left kidney. This is the mid region. And uh, here we see this is the lower pole of the left kidney. Now it also contains a cystic area. This is the cyst, this one, this black area. And uh, the cyst is in the anterior mid region. You see that uh, this cyst measures 21.7 into 21.7 millimeters is in the mid region, and this is the cyst which is in the cortical region. Uh, from the cortex, uh, it goes to up to the central sinus echo complex, but it does involve the cortex of the kidney. So this is the cyst that you can call as a parenchymal cyst or more appropriate will be to call it, name it as a, a cortical cyst, simple, no subtermal calcification, no debris in it. You will often see these simple cysts, no posterior wall acoustic harsh enhancement is because of the fat behind the posterior wall, that of the central sinus echo complex. This is the central sinus echo complex. So, and now this is a simple cortical cyst at the mid region of the left kidney. Now this is the differentiation between the medullary cyst you saw earlier and uh, the simple cyst. It does not change its shape when I move the probe 90 degrees. So, this was to make a differentiation between a medullary and cortical cyst. Thank you.